time. Here at SEMA, we're gonna unveil a crazy, crazy custom that Richard Rawlings and the Gas Monkey Garage pulled off in pretty short order. Um, it's, it, it's pretty amazing. Since we launched in 2015, customization has been a huge part of the customer culture. Our customers customize the style, the drive, the paint, the sound, the lights, everything. One of a kind paint jobs, all the way to incredible light and sound systems. Our customers make their mark. And that's exactly what Richard and team did with this build. In just a moment, you're gonna see how well this encapsulates the Gas Monkey Garage and Richard Rawlings' personality and spirit, and that's what Slingshot is. No matter what the adventure, if you wanna go out in the twisties and catch some curves, or just cruise Main Street and catch all the eyeballs, Slingshot delivers. So without further ado, personal thank you, Richard. Amazing job. Awesome, awesome. So, uh, you know, Chris and his team asked uh, me and Gas Monkey to come up with something uh, with a slingshot and I already had one so I was like well you know let me let me think about that and I wanted to do something different something that was a little uh, uh, you know out of the box so to speak you know what Gas Monkey does we, we monkey with everything and we kind of have some fun right and uh, whatever here's the shirt and uh, anyway so um, you know I challenged uh, my uh, artist to draw something that was in my mind and then I turned to my team uh, led by Chase over here uh, to um, to facilitate that drawing. So the proportions and everything were kind of crazy. Uh, what I had my guy draw was completely like insane. It didn't make sense and it was like how are we going to make that happen with, uh, with this slingshot and uh, you know Chase and his team uh, were amazing. Uh, we we custom built all of the suspension on this. Uh, the rear swing arm uh, was definitely a necessity, a necessary evil for us. Uh, we had a little bit of problems because we had to get it front, back, and uh, side to side, as they say in the rap song, uh, to get it to look right and be the right proportion. So I was pretty stoked when we got it right. It just sits right, it feels right, and it looks good. And uh, this is a utilitarian version. Uh, in my mind of the slingshot we can go low we can go loud we can do all those things and all those things are great uh, it, you know slingshot is a very very customizable vehicle and and everybody puts their own personality to it and this is our personality it's a little bit above uh, the ground uh, as we say at gas monkey and have forever uh, the attitude is 100 percent based on the altitude and uh, I guess that's about it holy shit oh am I on the cover what? I didn't even have to take my clothes off. This is great. We killed it. We want to say thanks to Dub too, uh, but the Slingshot team was great because they let us do exactly what we wanted to do. And uh, I think I blew their mind when I showed them the first rendition. But, uh, you know, we pulled it off. I'm proud of my team. And I'm proud of, uh, you know, being a part of the Slingshot family now for two years. Hopefully there's a third. And uh, there you go. So you guys ready to see it? Yeah. All right, here's a shirt. Go <laughs> ahead. Uh, you know, just absolutely insane. Uh, I wanted to get it up off the ground. I wanted to give it a little bit of uh, attitude. Uh, I wanted to make it, uh, uh, you know, give it some space to be able to live out, uh, you know, trekking and what have you. you. Know everything's about taking a road trip, especially with COVID. Grabbing your loved one, jumping in the vehicle, throw a duffel bag on top, pull some clothes, and uh, just get after it. So I was super stoked that we were able to do it. Uh, we had uh, Slingshot build us a custom hood here so we could put the the uh, hoops through for the Fox shocks. And uh, when you get a chance, you'll see in the back that uh, we custom manufactured the rear swing arm. Uh, we tried to mimic uh, the swing arm that was uh, originally on it. Because why? Because they did all the R&D and they spent millions of dollars doing that. And we figured if that's the design they picked, well, we should probably stick to it. You know, So, you know, there you go. But uh, Chase, you know, you can come up and tell them a little bit about what you did. I mean, everything is, is uh, one off. And I, and I got to tell you guys. This man is 22 years old. He is, Woo! this is his first SEMA, and he's at his first SEMA with his built vehicle, uh, along with the rest of the Gas Monkey team, which is absolutely unbelievable to accomplish that. Yeah, see, even the speaker doesn't believe it. And, uh, you know, just unbelievable. Uh, one of the most talented people I've ever had at Gas Monkey, and uh, hopefully he stays here for a very long time. I'm giving you some stock options.
But uh, here you go, so tell them all about it. All right, so starting in the front, we uh, did a full uh, custom bumper. We obviously removed a lot of plastics to give us a little bit more ground clearance. Uh, we also did full custom upper and lower control arms with the sway bars, tie rod ends, uh, sway bar links, all that. Uh, Fox shocks going through the, through the hood. And then uh, we built some panels that wrap around to give us more clearance for those 35 middos. Um, and then we did a full roll cage that wraps around into rock sliders at the bottom. So from front to back, that's pretty much it. And then the swing arm was a, definitely a task, for sure. I mean, that was started out as quarter inch plate and uh, we bent it in, welded it all up. And that's what you have today. He's so modest. He freaking absolutely kicked ass on this. And, uh, you know, we, we stuck with uh, the the scheme of the paint and everything was just kind of what popped in my head. I was like, that, that desert tan, some bright orange, let's have some fun with it. We've got a functional roll cage that actually bolts into all the original pieces that uh, Polaris had already designed. So it's going into the frame, into the frame on the uh, uh, lower uh, or on the back of the seating area and what have you. So it's not just form, it is actually function. And, uh, you know, from a standpoint of getting it done, uh, like always, I challenged my team to build fast and uh, we completed this uh, task. We were given 90 days and then, and then my friends, and I use that loosely right this second, said, hey, we can make the cover of Dub Magazine if you can trim 30 days off of your build time. So you're looking at uh, about 57, 58 days total start to finish. And that's engineering everything from scratch, uh, from you know pen to paper to getting it bent and getting it welded and getting it on the car. Sorry, on the vehicle and double checking everything about it. It uh, you know there's a lot of R&D that goes into making this happen.